Hey, welcome to my channel. This is Spirit Soul Sense, information for your soul. I am Dr. Sharice, and I wanted to start a new series about what I'm listening to, what I'm reading. So many people want to pick my brain about what's going on. I think this would be really cool to share with you in a really short video what I'm what I've paid attention to in 2023 for June. So as far as music goes, uh, I like R&B a lot. I've been listening on repeat a lot of love songs recently. Um, Alina Baraz has a really pretty music, but I like her coming to my senses song. Um, there's the Show Me Love by Alicia Keys, and I forgot his name. I'm gonna show everything, uh, a picture of everything. Um, then there's Sabrina Claudio that I listen to a lot, and I feel like there's one more I'm missing. I forget. Uh, but what I recently, so like the end of June, one of the songs that I'm probably not going to listen to on repeat a lot, but was extremely moving, was Joyner Lucas's song, Broski. The music video for that is incredible. It's a work of art. And I've listened to a couple of his other songs, um, paid attention to some of his music videos, because he is super creative. And I think everybody should, I mean, everybody, yeah, everybody should watch that video because it highlights life. It, it highlights life. And the fact that some people um, are in your life for a season, a reason, you know, for a lesson, and not everything is about romantic love, that the friends you have also, you choose is super, super important. So I highly recommend. Uh, as far as books, I probably read 100 books last year. I have always been an avid reader. I read very quickly. I have an interest in a lot of different things. So I read self-help books, spiritual books, novels, all sorts of different novels. Um, my least favorite is probably a thriller, not thriller, suspense, yeah, thriller suspense in a book. Um, yeah, because I'm going to just skip to the end. I'm going to skip to the end. But the book that I am reading this month is called Honey and Spice that my friend recommended to me. She recommended it to me, but I actually had it checked out in my library. I, I use an online library, do a lot of audio books. Um, some, some books feel special. Some books feel like they have a spirit of their own and energy, like an actual download versus something that somebody had to think hard to create. This book r reminds you what it's like to be 19 <laughs> um, and to be trying to figure out dating and friendships and connections were so natural and there wasn't a lot of overthinking i think i think for the average 19 year old you don't know what you're doing you learn all these things for the first time um and the feelings attached to that are in this book and they elicit all the things like make me giggle it's a really well done book and i'm looking forward to finishing it what i'm watching um so if you're new to my channel you don't know this but the office the witcher these are things i've been obsessed about it's funny that i haven't done um, a video about The Witcher when it's something I'm completely obsessed with. I am obsessed with The Witcher. Um, but The Office, right? Love The Office. So those are things I'm always watching. So after today, right, uh, in this series, I probably want to just keep mentioning The Office, The Witcher. Um, but something new that I've been watching, Evelyn from the internet, these, she's one of those people who's been on the internet for like over a decade. Um, really when YouTube was starting, she was on there creating content and now she's like super serious about wanting to create like meaning, very meaningful content. So she has a new series that she worked very hard on. Like when you think about creating your baby, like I'm working on a book, but like having to collaborate with so many different people with different areas of expertise to then create this, oh my gosh, and she's done a phenomenal job. Um, I like people from the diaspora yeah across the world um so i don't know which country she's from but she's like second generation immigrant i i don't know um but that's that informs her work her comedy style all that stuff um a lot of people i like right are black foreign from somewhere else um so i really like her content and really really impressed with the work that she's doing to create like series and media like she's just doing a phenomenal job and then i thought about adding a hot topic i i always go back and forth not always after my last however many videos i did about celebrities you know maybe two years ago i just really fell out of interest with wanting to talk about celebrities or what's going on in pop culture 
because in my in my real life I pay attention a little bit but I'm not sure I pay attention enough to speak on it a lot I, yeah um so we'll see if this stays I might include something I might not um but what I'm thinking about for the hot topic of June was uh interview that Hassan Minaj is it Hassan Minaj his interview with Barack Obama reminded me that next year is a presidential election and I vote I pay attention enough to what's happening um and I, I just thought the conversation around um politics the world state of the world inflation um climate change the, you know Barack Obama has been so consistent in his stance and his approach to communicating with the community um, and the public. But one of the things that stood out to me from that interview was um, Hassan saying, Donald Trump lied a lot, but he was emotionally honest, right? And I had never heard anybody put it like that before. I don't think Trump is going to win. He might run again. Um, I guess if he's not convicted, he might run again, but I don't think he's going to win. I am very curious though to see who is going to win um, in the nature of these things, right? I'm not like a political pundit or like expert in policy or anything like that. Um, I just pay attention to trends. I'm an expert in human psychology. So to me, from my perspective, I think it's probably going to be a Republican president and in the grand scheme of things, right? So, like I have some video ideas for July, but in the grand scheme of things, um, it matters, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it matters, but it doesn't really matter. Like, even if someone you don't like wins, it does not mean that you cannot still live your best life, like no matter what's going on. Um, there's always a way, a strategy to improve your life, no matter what's going on externally. It's literally what my channel is about. So let me know if you've read the book, if you've listened to the music or seen that music video. What do you think about the presidential elections? And I'll see you next month for my July. What am I consuming?